technology and social media becoming big and starting up. So I feel like mm -hmm. it doesn't affect us as much. Yeah. yeah. Well, random question now that we're here talking about technology. What is like a friendship that started online and now it's like full on fledged style friends now, like in oh real my life? God. Too? I, That's a good ass question. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. I, I don't you know, know how you make friends like oh on TikTok and you're like oh my god I love this yeah. and then well, like, you let's start texting kind of thing. Yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mean, I mean, aside from Callum Scott, you know, such a huge artist and very down to earth. One of of like the very good examples that I could think of at the top of my head would be my best friend Ishi Bonifacio, who is no a talented dancer. Yeah, so She's we're amazing. both from Canada. We're both from. Canada, she's from Vancouver, I'm from Calgary. And she already knew me before we met here in the Philippines because of the reality show that I entered in Canada, the one that was on TV. And then right. she was already performing on Ellen and stuff as well um, with Ariana in Vancouver and stuff like that. So I knew about her as well, even before we got to the Philippines. So one day I kind of just um, messaged her like, oh my gosh, you're from Vancouver. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hi, it's so, it's so cool that... Uh, there's other Filipinos in the entertainment industry here in Canada that are, um, you know, doing their thing. And um, th there was a time where she also watched me and she was like, wow, there was this Filipino kid on a TV show as well here in Canada. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we already knew who we were. It's just we weren't friends yet. So I feel like we really just became friends after she also came to the Philippines and entered um, a competition here. So yeah, that's one of the stories I have from internet friends becoming real life friends. So, yeah, dude, yeah. She's, she's a good dancer. She's amazing. She's, she's amazing so talented. Dancer. I saw I saw one of her clips uh, dancing like a solo. I think it's in the new show, Beat Lyric and Beat. I think yeah, you, you're a part of it, right? I saw yeah, one of her dances and I was like, damn, the girl got moves. It's really <laughs> yeah. good. You you're, guys... you're also heavily involved in a yeah. lyric can beat, right? Yes. So we are um, what they call a love team in that show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but yeah, we have a, we're a love interest there. So it's really, it's really funny, you know, um, best friend, <laughs> they put you into a show where you're, you kind of have a thing for each other. It's really um, interesting. But at the end of the day, I'm glad that it's her. I have a love interest with the show because it just makes it everything it just makes it 10 times easier. Everything's just easier, you know. You're a bit more comfortable, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, the chemistry and everything is already um, there. You, there's no awkward tension and stuff. Mm. Is, it, what is it? Is it like acting or is it like a reality kind of thing? So Lyric and Beat is a musical series. So it's my first TV series because I've done a movie before, but um, this is my first time acting on a series. And Damn, uh, Darren. Thank you. <laughs> it's very, <laughs> it's, it's a different environment um mm -hmm. from you know the the performing and stuff like when you get on set everything is kind of different in terms of uh i guess discipline you know knowing mm -hmm. your lines when you get on set you have to be in your character and stuff like that um so you really have to get on set knowing what you're what you have to do and what you have to shoot in that day and stuff like that so i'm just glad that we had to uh, we had the time to do workshops back in December before going into what we call a lock-in because in the Philippines, you, you have to do lock-ins. So you kind of mm -hmm. put everyone in what they call a bubble to be With able to show yeah, yeah. Yeah, a show and stuff like that so that, you know, there's there's less um, chances of, you know, the, the COVID spread spreading around. Mm -hmm. and that. So, yeah. I see. So, yeah, so there's less risk, yeah. Actually, I, I'm actually quite interested about that. Talk to us a little bit more about the mental process also of changing from performing as a, as a dancer, as a singer, to actually acting, because they're completely different disciplines. Like, what was your yeah. mental approach to it all? Well, for example, in singing, my discipline mm -hmm. really is just about, you know, taking care of my voice, resting, um, knowing what to eat, what not to drink and stuff like that. But then in acting, I mean, like, um, in singing, it's a lot easier to memorize songs because it has a melody to it. Yeah, it has a melody to it that you can um, kind of have that attachment to. But then when you're reading a script and you're trying to memorize lines, you really have to keep going over and over again because um, it's harder to to get in your head for some reason. But sometimes there's um, in 
instances where we have new scripts on the set and you have to just memorize it right before the take. So it's uh, it's all about adjustment as well, adjusting your, yourself to your environment and just being present. You have to be present, you know, mentally and physically and emotionally as well because of because sometimes we shoot scenes where you're going to be crying in the morning and then after that you're going to be happy you have to shoot a happy family scene and stuff like that so um it 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 takes up a lot of uh you know your your emotional and mental health but it's really fun because <laughs> it's true I, it's like emotional energy must yeah. be drained after you do scenes yeah. like that yeah especially when we get home cuz we we go home to one compound Everyone's kind of like we don't want to sleep yet because we kind of just want to relax and chill for like, a bit. But talk I'm, about the whole experience of the day, definitely. Yeah, like oh my gosh, wow, we really did that today. But um, I'm I'm glad that I get to work with friends who I've known for a long time now, including my best friend uh, AC, and also everyone, even from the production to the staff, our director. Uh, everyone's very chill. You know, we all um, help each other out. And we know when it's time to work and when it's time to like you know you can kind of play around and stuff. That's yeah, amazing. I think like um, actually what one of the things that surprised me about you when we first kind of discovered your music was um, we discussed it off of camera. I'm not sure if we said it on the reviews or the videos, but we were like, um, damn, mm -hmm. like he he could really do theater, or maybe I, I'm I'd be interested if he could go more like the theatrical route. It's maybe a Broadway idea, like the West End type of like style of singing. And I didn't know that you didn't have a background in acting because it it just seemed like I don't know. We I think we checked out that video with you and Morissette singing um a whole new world. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, damn, this kid is like. It's perfect for Disney. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what, what's going on here? Yeah. And uh, now the fact that you are kind of working on that acting pedigree, mm -hmm. dude, the, the the possibilities are so endless. And I always admire people that, because you don't really have to learn how to act. You're already in a position in your career with singing and dancing that like mm -hmm. you could just carry on doing that. You know what I mean? So taking yeah. on new challenges, which I think is the right thing to do anyways. But um, it's admirable because it's like, well, he didn't really have to do it. He wants to because it's kind of like a development Mm -hmm. aspect mm -hmm. of things is that why you kind of did it you wanted to kind of take on a new challenge or perhaps it was just an opportunity that came up well i've always been fascinated with actors and how you know they can portray, portray different roles and different emotions and characters and stuff like that so i i myself have always wanted to be part of a project in acting mm -hmm. um so i've done one movie here in the philippines and then this is my first time doing a series so uh hopefully i get to do more in the future because i do enjoy acting i didn't imagine myself to enjoy it as much as i did um while we were um shooting lyric and beat so uh hopefully more more opportunities to act again in the future